Uh, if we talk about our current IT policies uh, uh, and compare it with uh, the international standards, I would uh, um, proudly say today that the kind of IT policies we are uh, drafting these days uh, to to um, uh, to cater to the industry not only in India but the international customers also international markets also it is much at par with what the international IT policies and the framework is is uh, prevailing today in the market um, with this uh, understanding I would definitely like to say that if you see most of the MNCs in IT players, major IT players, I have uh, uh, big shops in India, and they are very much uh, established in India. The reason being that they are finding India as one of the promising markets, and therefore, they are also tweaking their IT policies and frameworks to to uh, fit into the framework of India. This is also happening. Right. I mean, which is which is a great thing to uh, to discuss about. Basically, we sh why would uh, we we should only think of you know. India changing the IT policies or drafting the IC po IT policies to match to these in international standards. It is actually happening the other way around now, which is good for us. Um, with the changing um, uh, trend in technologies and the IT adoption, which is uh, moving uh, to a great uh, uh, pace currently in India spe specifically, uh, may it be IT sector, the adoption of technology in various sectors or the, uh, the skill development programs which the government is uh, pursuing basically to, um, to enhance the, the current capabilities and the skill set of the, of the uh, current manpower to fit into the requirement of the industry basically. So, I would definitely say that the kind of uh, changes which are happening uh, today in the, in the Indian framework in IT sector are, are very dynamic and everything you find something or the other change which is happening currently. The only need of the R is basically uh, to adapt to that part and be ready to face the future. I uh, see this is a very sensitive topic to discuss basically because data sharing and interoperability if you if you talk about is basically sharing the the data uh, between two uh, government entities or any entities on a secure platform right now the the question arises that what is the secure platform what is the definition of a secure platform right so there are a lot of definitions lot of you know uh, inputs which are there in the market and, and um, different in agencies and entities are coming up with their own versions of, uh, of the understanding of this. But uh, putting in a very simple uh, words, I would say that any platform or technology which has the capability and capacity to, uh, to take the data from one place to another in a secured environment in a sense that no other third party could have the access of that particular data. Uh, is is what is the need of the R right now. Now it is also at times you know linked with the cyber security also. Now data security and cyber security are two different topics. But then uh, when we talk about data security we also talk about cyber security because simultaneously the data travels over the net only right. And uh, today, even the, uh, the, the, the uh, lot of citizens are doing a lot of transactions over the net. Now, if it is so, and this is going to, uh, you know, uh, increase over a period of time, definitely. Now, the requirement is basically how can we ensure that these transactions would be secure enough so that you and me, like, uh, uh, you know, local citizens of India, have enough you know security and understanding that yes whenever if if i am going to do some financial transition over the net it would be safe for me so that is the need of the r and i'm i'm i am very much confident the r agencies are doing a uh, lot of things to ensure that this happens over secured uh, platforms and we today if we are when we are talking we have multiple secured platforms already uh, which are operational right now we are using multiple platforms a very simple platform is pay, like like paytm or UBI. I mean, these are very secret platforms through which we never think that if we do some transition, it will be, you know, it will go haywire. It is not going haywire. And that's the, that's the best thing which is happening currently. So I would say that um, future is very secure, very bright, and uh, we are going to have very robust uh, uh, infrastructure in, in terms of data security and cyber security. Uh, uh, see, whenever we, uh, we change, we transform, or we adopt something new may it be technology or any other thing uh, it they tend to happen that something or the other uh, you know hindrance will come on our way instead of seeing those hindrances as as blockages uh, 
we rather should be thinking on you know how effectively we can remove these hindrances through through technology intervention and this is what is happening currently i mean the beautiful part is that we can see around us that lot of things are happening which are ensuring all these things and we, we are we are in a era where we are we are seeing actually magic happening so i am seeing that this is going to expand this is going to uh, to you know uh, uh, to to uh, spread across the geographies and uh, we'll have a platform where we can do all these transactions do data transactions do you know uh, financial transactions over secured uh, platforms